Welcome to Surface Pro 3 TechReviews.com. I'm Neil, and today we're digging beneath the surface. In this video, I'm going to show you how to share a file, a photo, or a video from your OneDrive. I'm actually doing in two videos in one with this one because once I finish this video, I'm going to use the Windows Movie Maker and show you how I use that program myself to edit and make the YouTube videos that I do. So your first step so, is going to be to open up your web browser. I'm using Microsoft Edge, but you can use whatever browser you're comfortable with. Type in OneDrive, and you see it'll recognize it and pop it up, probably because I was just there. <coughs> I'll hit Enter. And then it asks you to sign in. If you haven't, you can sign up. You'll get 15 gigabytes for free. And there are no, uh, you know, no strings attached. You can just open up a free account. And it's nice because on the, uh, you know, I have an iPhone. And, but Apple only gives you 5 gigabytes for free. And if you want more, you got to pay. Microsoft gives you 15 for free so that works out pretty good especially for your photos and videos and and then if you get an office 365 subscription which is what I have they give you an extra terabyte so very useful um, but then you just come up here click your sign in button type in your email and click next and then it'll ask you for your password. It didn't ask me for mine because uh, it saved my password. And also what you do is in your web browser, you can save it. You know, save it as a bookmark, which I got right here. That way, the next time you open up your web browser, all you got to do is just come and click on OneDrive and it takes you right to it. Now, I'm showing you the web browser version of how to do this because... From what I understand, Microsoft is still working on their um, OneDrive app or the way OneDrive uh, functions in Windows 10. And the web browser is really helpful because you can use this uh, from any computer that's connected to the Internet and, and you can get right on there. So let's say I want to share... Um. <laughs> okay, here's uh, this is my little puppy here. And you saw on my desktop how big he's getting. Uh, let's go in here. We'll find a. Well, we'll just say this one right here. Here's a video of my my dog Caleb. He's having some fun here. Okay, I didn't want to open that. Instead, all you got to do is come to the whatever files you choose, whatever photos or videos, you notice that as you hover over it with your mouse, you see a little circle. If you click in there, that selects it. And you can go and you can select as many as you want. So say I'll select this video. I'll select this photo. That's my mom and me. <laughs> and uh, say, we, say I want to share those two things, okay? It can be whatever you want. And here is a um, one great benefit of storing your files and uh, photos and stuff like that on OneDrive is if you want to send a video through an email, it's going to be difficult because most, me most emails limit the size of the file you can send. So this video, if I were to send this through my regular email account, it probably wouldn't go. It would say the file's too large, so I wouldn't be able to send it. Well, when you do it through OneNote, through OneDrive, you actually are sending them a link to your OneDrive. So I'm not sending the file out. I'm just sending them a link to the file that's still on my OneDrive. And so then there is no limitation. There is no size limit. So I can send huge, I could send a link to a huge file and there's no problem. So that's a really great benefit of OneDrive. 
So I got the, the, uh, the file selected that I want to share. And one is a video and one is a picture. And you come right up here to the share button. You click on share and you get two options here. You can invite people is the first option or you can get a link. And both of them are pretty similar. Um, invite people, it just takes you right to the part where you enter in their email. And if you want, you can add a quick note to it. The get a link is you uh, first you specify whether you want the uh, people you send it to to either view it or if you want to allow them to edit it too. You can specify that too, which you can also do on the invite people. Uh, but after that, you click here and it makes a link, which I'll just do just to show you real quick. And so here's this link. Now I can take this link. I can shorten it if I like. But I could take this link and I could copy it into a um, email or I could maybe put it on a web page or uh, I could even put it right on my Facebook page if I want or Twitter, whatever. Well, maybe it might be too long. Maybe use the shorten. But either way, uh, you see what it does. Now, to invite people, all you're doing is you're putting a simple email, um, you know, someone at gmail.com you know I'm not gonna send it but just so you get the idea that's all you're doing is you're entering in whosever email address you wanna put and if you wanna put more you could put more separate them with a semicolon and or a comma and it'll save it like that and then if you change your mind and want to delete it just click the little X there to take it off and you know you can send a little note Check out my file. Okay? Very simple. And down here is where you can change if you want to allow people to um, only view what you send. So say, for example, you're working on an Excel document and you want to send it to your friend, but you don't want your friend able to edit that document. Okay, so you just make it to where they can only view it. But say you want to work on it together, well, then you can make allow them to edit it. And it's still going to be edited on your OneDrive. So they're going to be opening your actual file and able to work on it. And which you can set it up if you want to save those changes or disregard them. But it just allows you some great, um, you know, a, it's a great tool to um, be productive with other people. So in this example, we'll just say, read only and by default it will be recipient doesn't need a Microsoft account which you can change if you want to make sure that they do so we'll leave it where they don't need it and from there it's as simple as sharing I'm not going to share it because it's a bogus email but it's just that simple to share a video a photo whatever you want to do whatever you put on your OneDrive account is just that simple to share it with other people. There is one more thing I thought of I could show you and that's only because I had the same question and maybe you do too but how secure are my pictures or files that I send to someone? You know basically if I am sending them a link to photos and pictures uh, you know files on my OneDrive can the people that I send that link to see other things on my OneDrive good question right and I had the same question too so I want to show you an example of someone sent me a link to their OneDrive and this is how it comes this is the uh, uh, the pictures that they sent and you'll see that right here it says view photos this is the link that I would click to view these photos on OneDrive it opens up my web browser and it takes me right to those pictures you see and there is 
all I can do is uh, look at these pictures. I can download them if I want, um, you know, and, and so on. But I can't access the person who sent me. I can't get into their OneDrive, you know, meaning these are the pictures that they shared with me, but I can't go in and look at other pictures that they didn't share with me. And that's good to know, you know, because, uh, you know, you don't want to send somebody a link and all of a sudden they're monkeying around with all kind of stuff you got in there, right? Of course not. So I uh, just wanted to include that little little bit in there because at least for me, I know it was a, a question that I had. And so not only do you get, um, did I show you the sending part of uh, sharing your links and of your files, but even how it looks on the other end of when you receive a link, how does it look and how secure is it? And you see, it is. It's very secure and it works really well. Well, I thank you for watching. Uh, it's always a blessing to make these videos and help people to use their computers more productively and efficiently and to share a little bit with what I've learned along the way. And uh, it's encouraging that people have been finding it helpful. So I thank you for sharing.